<laughs> oh my god, I hate Brooke sometimes. Like I'm like we're on to something good here. No, because he's gonna have to work too hard. God, no. You, you can pick and choose, Brooke. <laughs> Welcome to It's a Hawaii Thing. You got Lanai and that's Brooke Hi. Lee. Thanks for joining us. We have a very special guest on the show so today. So. It's a, it's a, it's a, I feel like I know this guy. You should. I feel like I've known him for a long time. <laughs> and uh, he's such a great guy. He's done so many cool things. Yes. He's become a uh, social media superstar. superstar. <laughs> and, I'm, and, and I didn't realize that I knew who he was until after... <laughs> I met him. Um, he's done so many cool things. He's worked with Lady Gaga. Oh my God, uh, Lady he's, <laughs> he's he's worked with Lady Janet Gaga. Jackson. Yeah. He's worked with um, Carly Rae Jepsen. Thank you for saying um, her last name. He's uh, is that a married name? No. Is that her real name? She was like right. sixteen. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, fine. I'm not a pop culture guy. Uh, he's also okay, was on. So you think you can dance? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mark Kanimura. Look, boy. How you doing, Mark? everyone i'm doing well thank you happy happy sunday or good to see you <laughs> yeah good to see you um so you let's get into it because everybody wants to know the standard questions where are you from what school you in? yeah all of that yep. nonsense so we grew up in uh halava area and then moved over into kalihi but then i went to high school in kaneohe so we kind of have to you're a through. knight you're Wait, a castle so knight you went to castle you were imported into castle you weren't a windward boy I was wow. Not. You know what? I think outsider. a lot of people were imported into. Uh, well, I mean, if you were in the arts, right? Yeah. And you wanted to be touched by the legacy you would go that to, was yeah, school, yeah. Ron Bright, you yeah. would find a way. Right. Get a mailbox somewhere yeah. close well, I, by. I believe that's the reason I was able to go to Castle was because that's what we that's what we use was like, I want to go for the arts program. And yeah, obviously yeah, yeah. there's not a ton of arts programs. In no, a lot of yeah. Hawaii, get on that. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so, yeah. so you're, you're a dancer, choreographer. Um, and and you do this thing on Instagram. Mark Tell everybody moments. what I call them. Mark, Mark moments. That's a good one. Ha hashtag <laughs> that. Yeah. yeah. Tell everybody what you do. I don't want to put a, a name on it. I so did. You I called it a Mark yeah. moment. Go it's ahead. What do you moment. do? Yeah, I, I, I'm going to go with that. It's it's a Mark moment. I, I yeah. never know what to like call it. It's really just sort of like a big celebration of all of these things that I love. It's um you know I, I incorporate my my dance background, my theater background, my choreography background um and then also my love for like fashion for drag for music, music and i yeah. just sort of like put all those things in a blender and like throw it all up for people to enjoy or not enjoy so that's very that's entertaining and then they do enjoy it because it goes viral yeah, and then you like go on people's like shows and it becomes like a whole thing and <laughs> you, you know what i was, now it's paying bills what i was thinking so. about before we went on is do you do the the cameo thing <gasps> I, are you on cameo I did it for a little bit, but because of like how full out I am, like it's really yeah. hard for me to like sit in front of like my phone and be like, hey, Merry <laughs> Christmas, happy birthday. No, no, like, no, no, I, I have the idea for you. Here we go. You got to do it. Have you ever seen that uh, Korean guy? Uh, he was on Amer uh, no. uh, Europe's Got Talent. No. He does these uh, magic tricks, but he's naked. Oh, this but one. you can he never see all of this. It, yeah, stuff. I post all this so stuff. Gross. This guy is making so much money on cam. What he does is he never talks. Wait, is it the one that like yanks the things out? Yes, like, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, Mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark, Mark, you, you're not you doing can that. do happy birthday. You're not doing no, that. it's like a telegram. You can do a happy birthday dance, you can do a Chris a holiday dance. You oh, can you do mean a Valentine's and just dance? Send the same yes, one over and over Yes, again. but you put their oh, name in it. So like I want to be the first one because I was thinking, I want to get I want to send somebody one. You can just do 60 seconds. Yeah, but have you seen his production? Productions? I mean, it's no, like no, an no, entire no, Disney play. No, no, but here's what you do. It, it, and I thought about the production. You're going to, when you do your next, your next outfit, you're going to do all of <laughs> yep. them that you need to do with that outfit. And you're not doing a okay. full thing. You're just doing a 30 yep. second, 60 second birthday or whatever. You just made a hundred <laughs> bucks. I Why not? His because... wigs cost more than a hundred bucks. <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying to you right now? The I'm ROI? Getting... I'm getting flashbacks because I, when I was doing Cameo, it was my sister's wedding and she had it in Hawaii. So we were staying in a house in like North Shore. And I was like, oh, shoot, like I have to like work at some point. So like right. I would go in in my room and just like let them know, like, hey, if you guys hear music and like loud noise, <laughs> yeah. all this kind of stuff. Like it's just me working and i was literally in this room in, in in the north shore and there was no air conditioning so i was like sweating but i had like my wigs on there was like confetti everywhere and i'm like recording these cameos and it was just like it was fun i enjoyed doing it it was just a lot because of yeah, Wait, yeah. so when you promised to do cameos for people you were doing a mark moment 
cameos for people? hundred percent. What I, are like, you I, charging? You wait a minute. Wait a minute. Two hundred dollars. Wait, wait a minute. A wait a minute, Mark. Please don't let her negativity rub oh off on you. Okay, God. we're entrepreneurs <laughs> and make money. She doesn't see the same thing and vision that I we have. I just want him to be a slave to Please. the cameo. No, it's Come not. On. It's not about being a slave to the cameo. It's about doing a few, and then you're gonna start getting these celebrities go, yo. I'll give you five grand. Can you do one for my wife? You know what I mean? Okay. It's, it's working up to it. We got to take a quick break. Uh, let me be more of a, a, give you more of a TED talk when we come a back. A pimp? Is yeah, that yeah. what you're calling yourself? Okay. It's a Hawaii thing. We're talking with uh, Mark Kanimura. Don't go anywhere. Bringing you what matters. Viewers can receive the Star Advertiser digital full access subscription for just $9.95 per month. Go to StarAdvertiser.com and click on subscribe. Use the code AHI THING. Long's Drugs is always here for Hawaii, providing your family with their local favorites, accessible health and wellness services to keep you safe and healthy. Make Long's a part of your day. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Uh, you got Lanai, Brooke, and Mark, and we're talking about your, we're having Mark your cameo uh, Mark thing moments. that you, you, yeah. you, so you used to do like them. Like a Hallmark moment. But you don't <gasps> do them. Hallmark! Okay, sorry. That's a good one. What? Mark! So you make the mark red sued. and the hall black. We're going to get sued. That's a good one. We're going to get sued. No, <laughs> okay. it's a it's a hashtag <laughs> hall okay, mark. Okay, whatever. So what do you think, Mark? Do you, I, mean, I guess you did some already, but you just got to yeah. make them more feasible, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like, I, I just like, because people were like paying for it, like I wanted to offer them something special. So I would like, you know, do the whole production. There was like wigs and costumes and confetti. Yeah. And it was like, while I enjoyed it and I had fun, it was just, yeah, it was a, a lot. lot. It was like, yeah. <laughs> but so like when you, how are you on a schedule? Like when you do these Mark moments, let's call them. Yeah. Um, you plan it out. Do you like, are you just waiting for songs? Like you hear BTS butter and you're like, nope, next. Or you hear like, you know, like, is it the song that inspires you? Or are you like, I need to do at least one a quarter or I need to do one every time I need to ne get new Gucci boots or like, what is, the impetus it's usually the song like that's yeah if, that's usually if it what moves it is. You. I, I, like yeah. i hear a song and then it's sort of like it just kind of trickles from there it's, it's like, like church i hear a song and i'm like oh this is fun or like i start yeah. like moving or dancing and then i'm like oh i have like an idea to do this or that or you know something and, and then so it nobody's sort of rolled up on you like carly ray jepson's people be like we got a new song coming out can you take a listen to it see if maybe it inspires you to do something with your mark moments does the people like come at you yeah, yeah. I mean, during like the uh, the pandemic, what was that last? I feel like we've been in it for so long. I'm like, I know. Was that again? Um, right. Last year, yeah, Carly's people hit me up and they were like, hey, Carly has a new wow. album coming out. Um, she would love for you to do, uh, we would love, you know, to have some sort of like Collaboration. live yeah. sort of like dance party. And it was actually really fun because I was doing like these live dance parties on Instagram uh, during the beginning of the pandemic. And yeah, so we incorporated like her new album in it. And then she, like actually hopped on the um on the, the live feed? as well just to say hi to everyone wow that's like, so cool let's back really up fun. for a second you were having live dance parties what's happening what you know what, what? You're, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. you're like mark you're yeah. like you're in the, back in the day the old squad you're too young for this we the d they used to reach out to the djs and put out mixtapes you're like the new mixtape you're like the visual <laughs> you're, you're like you're no, a visual seriously. mixtape yeah you're a visual mixtape because they would go okay let's pick the uh top three djs in every state my friends all work record companies and they would send you the copy before everyone else would get it and then you would okay. leak it you they would pretend you were leaking it oh the so, songs yeah mean? the songs oh, and you it. played in the club or you played on the air like i'm not supposed to play this uh, that's kind of like you're the new mixtape uh, oh interesting right wow, that's very interesting yeah that's who you that's are so I was now, just having flashbacks as you were saying that to like my sister and I calling the radio stations and requesting songs that we could record it on our um you're on like, our little like don't talk don't player. talk yeah yeah don't <laughs> yeah, talk please yeah. Yeah. don't ever admit right. to that that's piracy he's well, not admitting oh, to anything legally I, in I the know state of Hawaii that's not piracy okay I know you're not uh, doing it anymore I won't push the cameo thing but can you make me one <laughs> I'm gonna send you a, I want to do a, a gift for somebody yeah just a Absolutely. short 30 second one uh, let's good. switch gears real quick. How okay. was it working with Lady Gaga? Stop saying Gaga. <laughs> Gaga. <laughs> yeah. How was it? Please tell I us. I loved it. It was very, very fulfilling. I, you know, from a very young age watching, you know, growing up with people or like, you know, pop stars like Janet and Madonna and Prince and Paul Abdul, who, you know, all use dancers. I was, right. um, yeah, the first time I saw like music videos, I was like, oh my gosh, like this is incredible. This is something that I want to like do. I was very, very clear about that. Like when I was young, I used to have very, very vivid dreams of being up on stage, like touring with Janet Jackson and being up on stage and doing music videos. And I would wake up and feel so sad and bummed. So 
this is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. So to actually be able to like come out to LA and, you know, tour with an artist and do music videos, it was, it was pretty surreal. I mean, it was, it was incredible. And then to also be doing that with an artist that is so huge, yeah, huge and creative. Like she's just such a wonderful artist to to work for and dance for like that it was just uh did you yeah, know at the time incredible. that what you were doing was iconic like i mean name some of the videos you were in with her because you did like the monster Ball tour. born uh, this did alejandro did born this way did born Judas, this way uh, i mean Mary you were but yeah. and you did the whole two you did a whole tour with her right the monster ball tour didn't you well that was my first tour with her we did the monster ball tour actually for theaters and then because of how quickly she was like Blue, rising yeah. yeah we actually had to go back into rehearsals to basically create a whole new monster ball for arenas so like wow. it, everything was like it was really cool to be with her at that time because everything was, was just ramping like up, ramping going up, and ramping going up, and it was right. like it was fun but it was also exhausting because we right. we literally went from like one tour straight into rehearsals for the next tour and right. in between all that we're like shooting music videos we're doing like promo tours and like right. appearances so you like, were really a part of the growth of the whole thing that's amazing yeah, i mean if you saw yeah. her if you google the pictures he's to yeah. her left or to her right we gotta take a quick pictures. break don't go anywhere mark is hanging out with us Lovely. it's a hawaii thing this show is brought to you by atlas construction hawaii's number one builder for nine years in a row call them at 808 808- Nine five one nine five zero zero for the quality and service you deserve today. H E C Medical Clinic, Dr. Aries Oda, Hawaii's number one laser weight loss center for weight loss, reverse diabetes, and heart disease. Call today for your limited time special, only thirty seven dollars. Lose one to two inches instantly. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. You and I, Brooke, and we have Mark hanging out with us talking about Lady Gaga and the tour oh that you were doing. How long did you get to work with her? I was with her for about like four and a half. Years? Five years? years? Really? That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That in yeah. dancer years, that's bigger than dog years. That's yeah. like 10 years per year. Oh, yeah. Trust me. Like, <laughs> yeah. I was very, very grateful for like consistent work, especially right. as a dancer. Cause right. it's, uh, yeah, that's, you know, it's, it's kind of rare. Did right. you get to see the special that 60 Minutes did with um, uh, Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga? I did not. If you see, you, you have Mark. You have to watch it. It is it is very moving because I I'm I'm gonna her. I'm gonna admit I wasn't a big fan of Lady Gaga. Stop. I okay. I know Gaga. all her songs. I liked a couple of them, but it okay. wasn't like I had it in my rotation or anything. And then okay. this this came out, and I was I literally cried when I watched it because of the relationship that they had. Number two. She's an amazing jazz singer. She's and I an never, awesome singer in general. I, I mean, yeah. cause I watched that movie. What's the movie with uh, uh, Bradley Cooper? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was mm-hmm. blown away with that. And then I became more of a fan, but you have to watch it cause you worked with her. I want to know I what will, you think sure. about it. Yeah. It's pretty That's amazing. The cool Did you thing watch too about her is like, she's so diverse that like, yeah. Yeah. I, I, there's not many artists that can like drop like no. a pop yeah. album and then yeah. drop like some like heavy electronic album and then drop like a jazz album yeah. and then yeah. go and shoot like movies and, and be a act, like, actress. She's, yeah. a full, she's our Barbara Streisand. What do you call it? The I three, like the, she's, a, tri- she's a triple tri- strand. Quadruple tri- threat. Qua- quadruple threat. Though, but... and, there, and the thing that moved me about the sh- the special was, and it's just a, uh, like a short documentary, um, Tony Bennett has forgotten everyone's name and yeah. he realized mm-hmm. that he had uh, dementia like a while ago but he would he went came home to the wife and said what is his name or what's my piano player's name blah 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 mm-hmm. right so she thought i'm gonna bring the piano player to the house when henry he heard the music he woke up and he started singing and he and but he never remembered anyone's name so they did all these rehearsals for this for this show his last show in new york and they bring out lady gaga and he looks and he says ladies and gentlemen please welcome lady gaga he didn't he, say gaga. she was the only one wow. name that he remembered right. after 15 years and introduces her yeah Ooh, got you gotta like see it like, yeah i got wild. chicken skin crazy huh uh what what else uh you you work with janet jackson how was that i did how'd that go amazing. what'd you do so 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 amazing well actually gil who's also you know from hawaii he, gil um, dadalao He's so awesome at like bringing in. Do you in have local to talent. audition for Gil? No, no, no. Like he actually, I was. He just calls you, yeah, and, and tells he was you like, come. Hey, like I would love for you to come and assist okay, me on this job. You. So I was thank actually you. like, I was on like assisting him. Okay, good. And that okay. was my first experience with Janet. I like shot like later on. I shot like a music video with her as a dancer, but um, it was cool because I was with them for about like three months. So I really got to know like Gil and you know yeah. the dancers and obviously like her and stuff and. Um, 
I've always been a huge fan of Janet and Janet's like been like such an artist that has sort of like, yeah, sort of paved like my career in the sense of like yeah. really helping me to realize that I want to be a dancer. Right. Um, so to be able to like work Stop with dancing. somebody that you sort of like look up to yeah. and have a really wonderful experience with that person is just uh, to this Amazing, day, just, like huh? sort of like warms my heart. Cause she's like, yeah, she's one of the uh, most kind and generous artist that I've ever worked with. Like For she being just... famous your whole life. Yeah. Right? Your, I mean, your yeah. whole life. Yeah. Like whole I know life. a lot of people throw out like, you know, throw out yeah. the, word, uh, the words like, oh, legendary or yeah, iconic. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, like yeah. Janet is actually yeah. legendary in, and in iconic. The and, in the yeah, genes. So to have somebody that, you know, is at that level that's still, I don't know, takes care of the people Normal. around. Yeah. And she like, has is, such a, a lot. She has such a affirmate is the word affirmation is such love for people from Hawaii. I mean, I, the first one of her videos, uh, Moth to a Flame, mm. Stephen Silva from Hawaii, oh, really? who was a big dancer. He was a popper. Remember the guy with the dreadlocks? And he was the love interest of Janet. I don't remember uh, the stuff. song. What is the song? Moth to a Flame. The, the fire. That's the way love goes. That's the way love goes. So that's yeah. Stephen Silva, who is a popper. His name was, uh, I want to say, Poppin something. But he had a show in New York. He was a choreographer. He was a he local was a boy. Break, yeah, local boy. Brandon Silva's cousin. I had so no Brandon idea. Silva and that's so, so cool. Yeah, and he so he was a dancer, but he played the love interest of Janet. And then okay. Gil came right after that. And then I mean, look, Janet was just here. He had she had Anna V open yeah. for her, you yeah. know, and and you and I mean, um, there was other dancers too from Hawaii that danced with her from yeah. your dance troupe. What's the name of the troupe? Twenty four seven. Twenty four seven. Dance force. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Me, oh, uh, Marcelo Sienna. Pacleb. Lalao? No, Sienna's not from. No, when, but, but when she, I'm just saying from Hawaii, she danced with Janet as well. Yes, she did. Yeah. Here when she was a little girl. Such, so, so, so cool. When we yeah. come back, we're going to ask you some more. I want to know what ethnicities you are. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> it's a Hawaii thing. <laughs> Identify yourself. For all your money needs, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union is here for you. Visit HiFiCU.com. Beachside Roofing, the leaders. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. You got Lanai, and that's Brooke Lee. So we have more time to say goodbye. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. Mark is hanging out with us, and uh, we were talking about you working with uh, the Jackson, if you're nasty. Uh, you, you, uh, did you blow up on So You Think You Can Dance, or how long yes. were you in Hollywood before that? I, was, I wasn't. I was in Hawaii at the time. I oh, you were in Hawaii. Hawaii. So, so, yeah, so, so that, was like, your, that was your outlet? Yeah, like that was That my, was his um, Miss Universe pageant. Okay. Basically. That was my... <laughs> basically yeah and yeah. everything took off from there huh yeah i mean we uh so i was on the show made it to the like the top six which was like the week before the finale so that was great and then went on tour with so you think you can dance and that's where like i was able to make some money and save some money so that i could actually move to la to pursue you know my career in dance and everything um and then i moved to la 2009 and that's when i started like getting out and like auditioning and all that kind of stuff and then eventually like yeah, started getting stuff with like, you know, different artists and then landed the job with Gaga. And that took me through, you know, like four and a half, five years. So now that the uh, when you say you did the tour, so you think you can dance, it didn't come to Hawaii, obviously. But it's what, yeah. what, is it uh, like a like a Vegas type show? What how did they put that show together? Did Was there singers involved or a band? No, no, it was just it was the dancers, us, which is like pretty. That's also kind of rare to have rare. like dancers yeah. be sort of like the main, the, like the, the headline, main, yeah. basically. But the um, but show we, was at its height i mean not that it's not at its height but like at that time everybody like of they course. were pulling crazy numbers yeah. everybody was watching so you think you can dance so even if you yeah. didn't win people were like spinning off into other things i mean one of the dancers is now ellen's right hand mm -hmm. guy twitch uh, is mm -hmm. now oh yeah you know, yeah he came out of so yeah. you think you can dance he was on and, magic yep, mike but too. they would go on tour right after they would take yep. this bubble of yeah. all of these like well they got people. the they got the whole concept from the singing one uh American American Idol, American Idol yeah. right? They and I, you know, when American Idol first came out, I said they should make this a tour, and then like two years later, it became a tour. Yeah, because they were uh, just like banking on. Yeah, how many how go. many cities did you guys do? Uh, maybe it's a like blur. Forty, I don't know, maybe. Oh, 50. so you, all the major Ish? cities. Yeah, you guys yeah, were yeah, like, I would say so. You were like the Barnum and Bailey Circus of dance. Like you guys just <laughs> packed up one night. Good night, Toledo. Hello, yeah. Yeah, was, Albuquerque. It was, it was cool though because like at that time like social media was a very different world in terms yeah. of like television and stuff where 
when we were on it, it was very, very, very strict. Like no, no posting anything. Like oh. whereas, like now, like if I, you know, go back and choreograph or whatever, they're like, oh my gosh, please, like post, post everything, and share. BTS and, like, is out behind the yeah, scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like very. It was kind of shocking for us to sort of be like in this in very bubble. small bubble and yeah. then go out on tour and see like, oh my gosh, like there are so many people that watch this show because we really have like no concept, no concept of that. Right. Like you're basically in this television studio and you have like, you know, the studio audience, but you don't really like understand how many people are yeah, watching. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like, it was very like, yeah, right. it, was, it was very shocking. That's um, so cool. We have gifts for you. Oh I yeah. Have, we have uh I love ADTs, ADTs, oh, Miyagi. Love ADTs, they're a sponsor. So we're sending you some shirts. Cute. And I love then we ADTs have too. All of uh, pigeonmoji.com. We're sending you all of these snacks. Yum. We got taro chips, ulu chips, love- many yes. huni max. Yum, 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 um, yum. And you get a $25 gift certificate to go to pigeonmoji.com and order a tank top or a t shirt or whatever you want. Yeah, if you're, Cute, on a di- you. if you're on a diet, you can re-gift it. Because we're classy like that. <laughs> did, so you think you can dance give you tarot chips? No, they did not. Mark, Mark, is there anybody anybody that um, that you looked up to dancing when you were, like, getting into it? Who was your, like, oh, I want to... Not a not uh, an entertainer or anybody. Um, I would have to say I, I really looked up to Wade Robson a lot, who, Ooh, like, he nice choreographed one. for, like, Britney, and yeah. he had a really incredible dance career, and I... Whenever I would see him dance, I was just always like, oh, my gosh, like, he's incredible. And also, he was doing it at a very, very young age. Like, yeah. I feel like when he was dancing with and Britney, he was, like, in his he's teens He's very or easy. So. He's very easy on the eyes, too. Mark, what nationality he's are you? He's very easy on the eyes. Japanese, half Japanese uh-huh. from my dad's side. And then from my mom's side is everything else. So that's, like, Samoan, Portuguese, Spanish, oh, Korean, look at that. Irish. Oh, he's, he's an afakasi. Uh, sole. Yeah. He's a sole. They call it a Which Mexican no afakasi. Which no one yeah. believes. No one yeah. believes. Yeah, like, good oh, for you. you Congratulations sure? on everything, Mark. Thank you. I you, it. I, you're, I, you know, I always feel so proud when, when especially Hawaii people do so well, leave yeah. and, you know, do well. I was proud of Brooke for a little bit. Now I'm proud of you. Just for a little me. bit, though. Yeah, he just knows for me now, a little so he knows bit. Better. Yeah. He knows better. I know the BTS of her. Yeah. But, uh, hey, please join us for the extended version. We're Mark isn't swear. leaving. Mark no, she swear. is. Uh, we got the extended version on YouTube, Spotify, Apple. And thank you guys for watching. It's a Hawaii thing. Mark Kanemura, follow him on Instagram. Welcome back okay. to It's a Hawaii Thing. Mark Kanimura is YouTube. hanging out with us. Mahalo. Please subscribe to the uh, show when you get a chance and share the show with other people. Yeah. Uh, from You know what? I, I got a message from the other day. Cool. Somebody watching the show in Germany. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah. So I said, are you are you from Hawaii? And they said, no. Weird. But they love Hawaii and want to come here one day. Stalkers. And so, well, it, it, it's kind of like one of those things where you, I'm going on a trip. So you Google Hawaii, and mm-hmm. I guess we came up. Mm-hmm. So they started watching. I said, how many did you watch? They said, like a dozen already. Random. Oh, wow, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, it's kind of cool. So you think you can dance to Lon? No, I, I don't think know. so. I don't yeah. think it is. I don't know if it is or not. Because of, like, COVID and everything, they canceled, oh, right. like, a the, lot of the upcoming things. season. And then it just sort of again. petered out. What's the, what's the one that uh, J-Lo does? World of Dance. World of, World dance. of that's dance. That's the one that Sienna Lalau came out of because she choreographed for the kids. That that's Ron, how she hooked up with J Lo. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, because she was with the Lab, and then the Lab. The Lab. That's uh, right. Is their their Halau, if you will. Do you remember? Do you, and Mark, do you remember um, um, the DJ from Star One Hundred One Nine? This wouldn't be for Mark. DJ from Star One 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 Nine here, Howley Girl. Hudson she, Hot. Hudson, Hudson Hot. Yeah, her son. Yes, was, he was an amazing a dancer, he dancer. Boy, but yeah. he didn't dance for twenty four seven. Oh no, he did for a little bit. That's what I thought. But he, he danced okay. for another crew too. What was his name again? Julian Hot. Julian Hot. Do you know who that is? Hot H O T T. He went into the Disney route. They moved yeah. to the mainland, and then he was doing some Disney stuff. And now he's like a Overwatch player and makes like hundreds of thousands yeah. of dollars as a gamer. You know the oh, first wow, okay. time. Does he really? Yeah, yeah. Look the at first, him. He got all excited yeah, all of a sudden. The first time. Well, I known him since he was a baby. Maybe. Yeah, he's um, an Overwatch. I uh, I was just telling somebody the other day how Hawaii, and I don't know if anyone else does it, but twenty four seven. Who's the other dance crew here? There is none. Isn't there like another one? I don't. Yeah, know. Well, well, in, 
like uh, is hyper squad still hyper around squad, hyper squad hyper squad but they're not around anymore so, so hyper like squad that. 24 oh, okay. dance it was so interesting how you guys would have these big concerts like yeah, yeah, for, yeah. for five days and yeah. you know you'd sell tickets and so, the costumes were crazy yes. and the lady yes. I mean, like mark marcella was so not joking the reason i bring that up is because of do you remember um oh my gosh i can't remember i just forgot jasmine perry jasmine perry danced for katie perry ja jasmine the name perry sounds so, familiar. so she's related. a dancer she danced i believe she danced for justin timberlake first she's okay. a local girl her sister was a big singer in in uh, Jennifer Perry is a huge singer works for Sony um, in Japan. No, but I've known both of them since they were country. little kids, and they both danced for Hyper Squad. Mm. And okay. she was plucked out of Hyper Squad by Timberlake's camp huh. somehow. And that was the first dance concert that I've ever attended, and I was blown away. I was I didn't know what to expect. Right. You think of a high school production. Oh, yeah, no. No, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. but I was blown away and Sienna was in that same group. Yeah, she came out of like a church group at first and yeah. then she was with them for a little bit. You have to follow Jasmine Perry. But it's, it's crazy because okay. you, I'll I mean, her. from the pageant perspective, Marcelo them would always every year do the Miss Hawaii pageant. They would bring mm -hmm. some yeah, semblance yeah. of his team would come and they would be in the back and do all the breaks when we'd change from swimsuit and evening gown or whatever. So I mm -hmm. grew up watching, it was way before Mark because he's so super young, but a lot of those boys went on to do Broadway and yeah. like all of these other things. Yeah. It was a lot like, of different things, yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, and these are all Castle. This is all Castle yeah. high school people too. Do you guys all keep in touch, the Castle entertainers, your groups? Um, I mean, there's, there's a group of us here from Hawaii that have all kind of like kept in touch because we all kind of work in the entertainment yeah. industry like my one of my really good friends preston who like is actually janet's makeup artist preston he lives like Menzies. literally like right downstairs and like oh so gosh. we're always like we're right. always hanging out and stuff that's so, awesome yeah, we kind of like keep tabs on you know what everybody's they're doing always and... making ohana barbecue runs yeah. <laughs> did, did you uh, have you worked with nito larioza He's a little more not. on the old school. You know who that is, though? No. He's I do, a, yes. Nito used to be in the group New Generation, which oh, was one of the no, very no. few groups that got a national signing. Um, he uh, also was a choreographer for everybody you can think of. But mm -hmm, he, he was mm -hmm. also, I think most recently, Halle Berry's stunt double. So he went from Ram. dancing to stunts because he could flip and do all these crazy huh. things. But he's the same size as Halle Berry. So when you watch Catwoman, that That's was him, him? In, the, in the outfit. Yeah, that's that's where amazing. you're headed, buddy. Yeah, that's where you're but, headed. But it, who you want to be? But it's really an interesting Captain thing. Captain America, who you going to be? Because a lot of stunt guys are dancers. Because you gotta true. be graceful. You have to be graceful. And he knows martial yeah, arts. One, yeah, one of my friends growing up, Alicia, she was in Twenty Four Seven as well, and she moved to LA to be a dancer. But she actually ended up taking a different route, which was uh, stunts. And she's like made a very, very successful lucrative. career off lucrative. of like. I mean, she's like in freaking like Avatar, which is like yeah. right. And then I mean, money, yeah. that mo that movie money is the biggest money you can make in, in entertainment yeah. right there. Do you miss I mean, choreography at all? Or are you like just cool where you're at right now? He does it on Instagram every night. No, I know, but like for other people, like, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, because you, you were choreographing for so you could think you could dance. I remember you were doing all stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was, uh, they asked me to come back a couple of times to choreograph for them. Um, I... I don't miss it too much. I mean, because I, I, I'm not, I haven't like fully left it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All these things that I do, like in my apartment and stuff, like I still like, you know, I still choreograph all that stuff, and it's so I'm still like, I, you know, I dip my toes back in here and right. there. So it's yeah. You don't yeah. have a YouTube channel, do you, Mark? Not I yet. do not have a YouTube channel. Uh, is there a reason you don't want to do it, or He's is tired? Just... Well, I mean, everything's done already. You just got to transfer it to YouTube. That is very true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just, I feel like my videos are tend to be like on the shorter side. Like I mm -hmm. like giving like little, like 30 second, like little, like, yeah. you know? Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't have like longer format. But I do remember or... you went down a rabbit hole for a little while. If I'm, my stalking capabilities are correct, where you were like into film very heavy. Like you were going to start directing. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Were doing yeah, little yeah. shorts. I remember. Yeah, um, after I was like touring with Gaga, I was like, I kind of went through a, I was like, okay, I don't really want to dance anymore. So I was kind of exploring and uh, yeah, I dabbled in like film and stuff right. and was editing and directing. I and, remember. Um, it's hard. Yeah, that was kind of like taking off actually. Like I was, I started doing like some tour uh, content and footage and stuff, which was like really cool, but it was very, very isolating. I felt like uh, I was like spending 
I don't know, like 90% of my time in front of my computer, which I didn't really care for. Like I missed right. connecting with people that, and interacting with people. I think that's so. the hardest part. Everyone's like, I'm going to be a YouTube star. I'm going to do YouTube. That is the hardest part is just editing, so much time. It is a lot. It is. But production. I just would think that you're, because you're, I mean, you must have hundreds of videos that you could just post them up because in 10 years, that's going to be the mailbox money. You know what I you mean? Think? Oh yeah, yeah. It's all about putting in the time for YouTube now. Mm. The more mm. content you keep putting up, the money starts growing and growing, right? But look at these. Well, kids. that's kind of how it was with like TikTok too, because I feel like yeah. it yeah. was funny when TikTok rolled around because it was like, I, I feel like I had been doing videos and stuff. So mm. when it mm. happened, I was like, and? oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So are, are you on TikTok? Kind of yeah, I've like I've transferred like all my videos and stuff because it's literally like that's what TikTok is, you know. Yeah, yeah. So like, he, he was like, I was um, TikTok before you guys. But is it is it becoming pro? It is it coming profitable or is is the is the Instagram thing more profitable? Uh, I would say Instagram is more profitable for me just yeah. because of like my follower count and also I'm just I'm I'm more active on Instagram. I like yeah. I have had jobs on TikTok, but I'm just not. As what is the weirdest active. thing that has happened on Instagram? Because I know your people are slipping into all kinds of DMs. Like, oh, I bet you're getting a lot of those happening those on... dick pics. How many dick pics do you get a oh, month, we're Mark? On, we're on <laughs> we're on YouTube now. We're on YouTube. Now. Uh, how like, many of those do you, you get? Are you seeing those words right I, now? I. I I mean, I got one, I don't know, last week, I think. <laughs> um, See, I know it. I know. For the most part, I will say people are really, really sweet and really kind. And I, I don't. I don't get too many of those, which is yeah. which is great because it is kind of weird when you're like opening a message and you're like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, you know. um, Especially, I mean, hey, no, no, and, and if you're a guy, if you're a guy, it's the stupidest thing you can do, by the way, guys. It's the dumbest thing you can what? do. What? You know why? I have a couple of friends who are sending their dick pics to this website to expose these people. You're gonna be exposed eventually, so you don't do exposed. it anymore. You just exposed yourself in yeah. the DM. But... but I mean, they're sending them to a website oh. that is exposing it to people, and okay. that's gonna haunt you later. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because some of these guys are just crude. It, it's stupid. It's all crude. Uh, Keep yeah. your junk in your pants, yeah, guys. For sure. Let's be a lady. It's what? interesting. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't ever think to like just randomly send, you know, mm. a, a, like my dick pic to like a stranger. <laughs> like that seems so weird to me. To, Isn't like, it? Message somebody and be like, all right, well. Here's my dick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. Put a ribbon on it. At least yeah. put a ribbon on it. Jesus. This is not how I wanted this conversation to go with Mark. Mark is a lady. How many, how many do He's you a get? Classy broad. Brooke, we don't how need many, to talk about How many this have right you now. had in your Miss Universe career? Any. Never had one? Never. I don't believe you. I'm just saying. You've never had one. Now I'm competitive. Even I no. got one. Really? I've had a couple because people think I'm Mahu because I own a Mahu club. So they, <laughs> there's a couple guys who send them, and I'm going, uh, you got the wrong guy, buddy. You should say thank I you. I love Bilat. Oh. <laughs> I wish I'd get a Bilat pick. Lord have mercy. I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh. They're like, can we get it for free? Can we get some free drinks? Here's, like, here's my dick pick. Here's yeah. my <laughs> <laughs> what can you hook up for us? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not, it's not going to work. Anyway, should That's we switch? Uh, so we switch gears? To what? <laughs> to know. what gear? Let's just end to. because that was great. Really? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to end on dick, dick pics. What, what do His you, mom is going to be What so do you upset. have uh, planned now, Mark? What do you? What's in the future for Mark Kanimura? Um, I am actually working on a project that I can't really talk about right now, but I will be able to talk about it, I think, eventually sometime next year. Um, but I'm really excited about that. And just, yeah, wrapping up some, like, partnerships and brand stuff with uh, for my social media. And, and coming um, back to the Aina at I'm, some point. Yes, to, I'm coming back to in recharge a week, which I'm so excited about because I haven't been back since before the pandemic. So do do really? you do do you do like um like classes? Like do you do like a camp? You know, like a, a Mark Cunny two I, day camp. Yeah, usually when I come back home, I usually do like uh, dance classes and stuff. But this time around, I'm just gonna come yeah. home Chill. because I haven't been home in a long time, and right. like, I'm just gonna enjoy yeah. my, my family my friends the we're not food, gonna see you down at kaimana's beach. doing a choreography oh. with wigs and like <laughs> yeah you better do some hawaii you're not stuff. gonna do a hawaii on a v h i double a a and i with all the wigs and like <laughs> pigeons and shave ice and i mean you're definitely gonna find me at Kaimana. like that's that's where i go that's yeah, where yeah, I yeah, yeah so yeah. i'll definitely be there but I, I will definitely be. He's like, I'm not working. So I won't I'm, be yeah, working. Exactly. Yeah. No cameos. Yeah. Well, Mark, we hope to see you when you come home. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to meet you in person. We'll go have a drink Absolutely. at Scarlet if you have time. Ooh, great. Yeah. Scarlet. Okay. And uh, yeah. 
Okay. You have any more questions for Mark? I'm good. I right. know him. You I, one don't know him. I, I know him now. I've I known him, him for a long phone. time. I've known him long. I got than him you. in my DMs. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Ew. We're friends now, Mark. Yeah. Thank you so much. We're so proud of you. Congratulations you. on all your success. Keep thank inspiring you, the local kids. Yes. Keep inspiring them. Absolutely. Tell them to get off the rock and don't leave their talents here. <laughs> Well, That's you gotta not go. An inspiring message. Well, it is because you gotta take the next step. You gotta take the next no, big don't step, listen like to he Lanai. did. Like he, right? Like you did. You did it too. You <laughs> went away and became something we of yourself. We both got plucked out of our obscurity in Hawaii. We weren't trying to leave. No, that's what I'm telling the him. World you have and, this platform. The world came and found us. See, we loved. See, our here's idea. here's the thing with Brooke. <laughs> she had many opportunity to tell me to leave, but I guess I wasn't talented enough to oh, leave, so I just please, stayed here. Mr. Yeah. Open for Chan. <laughs> Mark, nice. Nice chat, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for Sounds being good. on Thank the you. show. Thanks for having me. All right. We love you. Thank you guys for watching. It's a Hawaii thing. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, don't comment. and leave us a comment I mean, on no. how Brooke is wearing this uh, Mid Pack Institute sweater. We'll talk. see you guys next time. <laughs> Ahui ho. It's a Hawaii thing. Whoa, oh. It's a Hawaii thing.